Welcome to Sardinia, the legendary vacation island off the coast of Italy that combines the very best of Mediterranean nature. Crystal clear water, soft sandy beaches, dramatic volcanic stones, and lush greenery that covers the rolling hills. I'm Phil Greenberg, and today I have a special property to show you. Come with me. And we've already arrived at one of the most beautiful moments that this property has to offer, the pool area. It's something really special because the designers actually started construction here because they wanted it to be the centerpiece, and they surely achieved that. Have a look at the way it's been integrated into not just the landscape, but also the architecture of the home. It's a perfect example of natural luxury. I love the just 10 minute drives from here to the beach and to Alguero, the university town nicknamed Little Barcelona. International tourists pour in each summer to visit gems like Samandra Agriturismo and the sea level lounge Il Reservato. Now, back to the property. This home is 316 square meters with three bedrooms and three bathrooms. Built in 2005, it occupies a 21,192 square meter lot which has been preserved as a vibrant and peaceful ecosystem with the goal of maximizing the independence and sustainability of the property. The water is drawn from two wells and then heated by solar panels. Meanwhile, the use of zero kilometer materials further preserved the environment while embellishing its beauty. Sardinia, a patio like this one is simply a must-have because the climate permits you to host outdoors all year long. Even on the hottest day of the year, you have a fantastic cross breeze to keep you cool and the panoramic views speak for themselves. We have views of the sea on three sides and to the north, we can actually see some of the important geographical landmarks of this part of Sardinia. You see that the covering above is perfectly integrated into our natural surroundings a support network of chestnut with bamboo covers on top. This area is expansive. There's room for much more than the two tables we've placed for 12 guests. Surely you can host 20 to 25 people here. And as we walk the perimeter, you can see how well integrated it is with the other social areas. A great view down to the pool, and we can even see the second patio area down on my left. And finally, we get a taste of the interior design. This banquet style dining table accommodates 10 guests inside. But with such a wide opening with the sliding glass door, you can see yourself hosting large gatherings here and having guests move freely between the areas. Towards the kitchen, we have an incredible countertop which was actually cut from a single piece of volcanic stone found on the property. It's been finished, but the character of this material has been maintained and there's so much space to place dishes, get all your food lined up, or even just do food prep in the company of your guests. The whole kitchen is communicative with windows all around and the full height glass door. It's fully equipped with all of your modern appliances, including a full-size fridge, an induction cooktop, and plenty of storage, both dry and cold. Now, making our way a little bit forward, we come to the main entrance. Here, where you'll be entering from one of the two gates that can access the property. And a little bit further, here on display, given the respect it deserves, the Italian wines, many of these from Sardinia itself, are displayed in an incredibly elegant sculptural way, once again utilizing the island's native volcanic stone. And just a few steps down, we have the conveniently located day bathroom for guests. One element of the interior design that I just can't get enough of is the continuity with the exteriors. Here, for example, the same handcrafted iron that we recognized on the patio, and it's paired with these zero kilometer stones, just like we saw poolside. It brings a bit of nature inside, but there's something really particular about the design of this house. In fact, although it's two stories, it's been laid out on three levels with a mezzanine living room, and the benefits are clear. 
Firstly, it's the perception of space. Thanks to these built-in sofas, we can maximize the light which pours through these creative windows and through the wide sliding glass doors that can be opened to let in the breeze as well. The second thing, of course, is the high ceiling. And by the way, the beams are so distinctive. They've been supported in a creative way that allows them to minimize the amount of structure that you see while maintaining the bare bones natural effect of exposed wood. There's a second benefit which you may not have guessed. The lower level is dedicated to the bedrooms, privacy, and staying fresh in the summer. So here we have a buffer zone that helps to separate them from the upper level, which is where the social areas are concentrated. That way you have a graduated approach to the levels of the home. On my right hand side, we have the guest bedrooms, which are two. And on my left hand side, the master. Let's start with the master. On our way to the master bedroom, we pass through the study, which makes a perfect private library and workspace that's especially appreciated when you have family over and you need somewhere quiet to get things done. And it's a great example of how the Gothic architecture enhances the design. It creates a playground not only for the unique lighting elements, but also for sound, as we noted before. Sounds amazing. Now, let's go and see the heart of the master suite. And finally, we've made it to the master bedroom. It's a beautiful place to wake up in the morning. That much is clear from the view alone. With this door open, we see all the way down over our swimming pool to the rolling hills onto the sea itself. And thanks to the orientation of the home, once again, part of the thoughtful design, the sun is always in front of us from sunrise to sunset. This room has been kept super simple. Although it does have rich design, it's totally uncluttered. And the reasoning for that is because with a suite of this size, the other functions have been separated. Beyond that archway, we have a walk-in closet and a private bathroom for the master with a jacuzzi inside. Let's go see. Look at the way that the designers handled the irregular shapes. Here, you can see that the tiles, when they reach close to the edge, are actually shattered and made into a mosaic instead. That's a solution that we'll see much more as we continue our tour. But here, tucked away, a delightfully intimate jacuzzi. Let's make our way to the guest bedrooms to see how they'll be living. Making our way down the guest stair, we pass by a massive boulder, which was actually here before the home was constructed. And the decision was made to keep it because it enriches the space and helps keep it fresh. And a fully functional fireplace. In fact, it's evidence that there are any number of ways to use this room. At the moment, the owner has decided to have it as a gym. But thanks to its location, you could do just about anything. Now, let's have a look at where your guests will be staying. Of course, I had to start with the guest bedroom with the view. This one looks out into the garden and to the rolling hills and sea beyond. It's really stunning to see that first thing in the morning. And it has all of the comforts you need for a nice long stay. Here a custom built wardrobe with room for all your clothes and quite a simple design that gives you the peace of mind that this property was intended to inspire. Let me show you the second guest bedroom. The second guest bedroom may not be the winner in terms of views alone, but when you consider the space that's available, it looks a lot more equal. Have a look at this custom wardrobe, even larger than the one we just saw before. And there's even leftover room for a desk nook. But that's not to say there's no views at all. This window actually looks out onto the gardens, specifically where we have a barbecue located outside with a pizza oven and plenty of hosting space covered by trees. Let's go have a look right now.
All the outdoor spaces give a sense of communion with nature. On a sunny day, you can imagine passing the hottest hours in the shade here with a perfect lunch, fresh off the flame. Looks like the sun's setting, and we saved a special view for the conclusion of our walkthrough here on the guest patio. What a day it's been. We have a lot to reflect on. The value of privacy, nature, and thoughtful design. If you fell in love with this home as fast as we did, then you can contact Irina Pushkova of Lux Villa Sardinia in order to take things to the next level. Make sure to subscribe and like the video because we'll be coming out with a lot more content like this soon. Plus, we want to hear from you what was your favorite feature in the comments below. We'll be reading them, so until then.